Hello, good evening. Thank you for joining me again. I have been out for a wander around my garden today. As lots of you already know, I spend quite a lot of time in my garden, but very often I'm doing something. Weeding, tidying, harvesting, two rather nice parsnips today, or planting, all sorts of things. But today I just went for a wander. I watched a bee, a big fat fuzzy bumblebee on the purple autumn flowering he bee. I watched the rook, rooks not being quite able to decide whether they wanted to sit in the top branches of the Douglas fir tree or not. And as the wind got stronger, I watched golden leaves swirling off the chestnut trees by the church. I picked a few leaves up and then wandered a bit further around the garden, looking at different leaves and picking up a few more. They are amazing at this time of year, aren't they? Now, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see these clearly, but I'm going to try to show you a few of the ones I picked up. So, um, beech leaves first. So th this one's obviously not long been off the tree and it's still relatively soft and orangey brown. But the ones that have been off a bit longer, like this one, the uh, the colour around the veins is starting to change. It's much greener and, and yellower. Um, yeah, beech leaves. Oak leaves. Oak leaves are amazing, I discovered. I can't imagine how I haven't noticed this before. But... Um, they change colour from the outside towards the middle. So a lot of them are still green in the middle, but they have a definite yellow stripe before going brown at the edge. And as they've been off the tree for longer or dried out for longer, the green starts getting smaller and smaller and the yellow and the brown take over. Quite amazing. But some of the most amazing ones, the most colourful ones in my garden anyway, are um, the azalea leaves. I'm not sure that one's showing up very well, but um, all sorts of different colours on them. They they seem to go through green, yellow, orange, brown, almost a whole rainbow, sometimes on a leaf like this one that um, isn't really any bigger than your finger. It is quite amazing. But um, someone, sometimes this gets attributed to St Francis, but I'm not sure if it really was him who said it. Someone said, creation is God's love letter to the world. I love that. Creation is God's love letter to the world. So my head knows that there are good scientific reasons why trees lose their leaves in the winter and why a leaf that was green when it was on the tree turns brown when it's getting ready to come off. But why make something like that look so amazing when it happens? I just wonder, might it be that our creator God made it happen that way so that when we wander around the garden or wherever, we might just possibly stop in appreciation and awe and wonder whether something or someone infinitely greater than us might be giving us a gift? I wonder. I'm going to read you a poem. This is by a guy called David Adam and it's called A Woodland Walk. I walked into the autumn wood to ease my restless mind, seeking shelter from the wind among the sunlit dappled trees, gold, lime green, a touch of red, a brown crisp carpet on the ground, beech mast, acorns, hazelnut, now hidden and carefully covered, but yet such miracles to see. I have not given anything to you, but your gifts to me are boundless, and such beauty calms my mind. While you enrich with trunk and leaf, your every breath blesses the air. The, what, the world would be lost without you. An ancient onlooker, standing strange, silently and strong, was the mighty monkey puzzle tree. Its ancestors made these trees, one by one, in creation's progression over the millennia, through mayhem, in stately, slow and strict succession. Deeply blessed and rested, I walked out of the autumn wood. So maybe next time you go outside, you could have a really close look at the leaves around you too. They really are amazing. So I'm going to finish off with a prayer which is also by David Adam. And if you'd like to make it your prayer, 
feel free to say or write an Amen at the end. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. In the woods and forests, you reveal the rich connectedness of all your creation. May we learn to respect and care for your forests, the lungs of the earth, and for all indigenous forest dwellers, human and animal. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Amen. Thanks for joining me. See you again tomorrow, I hope. Bye for now.